No matter how much you like your work setup or how efficient and productive you become, you will still need to consider ways to manage the balance between work and play. This is something that a huge number of self-employed people struggle with, and it's easy to understand why. The first and biggest issue here is that when you do work like SEO, writing or web design, you have the opportunity to effectively earn unlimited cash. Want more cash? Then work a few more hours. It's that simple. But in doing this, you are now creating a situation where you feel guilty any time you relax and let yourself become calm. Another problem is the fact that you're working online, which means people can contact you at any time of the day. And this becomes more of an issue if those people happen to be based in other countries where they're operating by different time zones. So, what can you do? From the advice we've shared so far, you might already have noticed something of an irony starting to emerge. You want to be freer and to have more spare time. But the best way to do this is actually to place more restrictions on yourself. By creating a more disciplined work schedule, for instance, you give yourself more time off and let yourself clock out earlier. Similarly, creating a budget for yourself can ironically help you to feel freer. Look at all your regular income and outgoings and then decide how much money you need to get by. Likewise, Think about how much you'd ideally like to save each month, how much you want to spend on treats for yourself, and how much money you need to set aside for tax. This is an important and useful point to consider right now. Tax is going to be one of the big stresses you face as an internet marketer, or anyone who's self-employed, so get it out of the way by setting that money aside immediately. In fact, a big tip I should share at this point is to have multiple accounts. Each time you get paid, split the money into a bills account, a savings account, a tax account and an allowance. That way you'll be able to avoid spending too much and not affording rent or forgetting to put enough aside for tax at the end of the month. Oh, and always calculate your tax as soon as possible so you have time to save the amount you need. This might sound like a tangent, but there's a point to it. It allows you to decide how much you need to earn in order to get the lifestyle that you want. This in turn means that you now know how many clients you need and how much you need to charge, and that means you can then decide how late you need to work. In this way, you're setting your own wage, and that means you're setting yourself targets rather than creating a situation where you feel the need to earn money indefinitely and never stop. This means you can now set the amount of work you need to do before you sign off, and ideally, you should also set a time at which you will stop working every day. This might be dictated by other life commitments, or it might just depend on how long it takes you to do the work that you need to do. Either way, you now have the ability to draw a line under a day's work and then stop. And you must be absolutely strict when it comes to not responding to emails, not taking on more work and not squeezing more in. Remember, downtime is what will allow you to work more productively when you return to work. And after all, what's the point of being a successful entrepreneur if you never have any time to enjoy the spoils of your success? Another tip to this end is to separate work and play by having a separate work phone and a separate work email. This way, you won't be tempted to answer messages when you're not working. It really is important not to make exceptions here. If you make an exception once, you can be sure your clients will think that you should always be available to answer messages or to just quickly finish this bit of work. They'll be sure to take advantage of your free time if they can, which is not because they're malicious, but it's simply human nature. This must be an ironclad rule, and if you do end up working extra hours, well, don't let them know. Not reading the emails is also very important. Even if you don't respond to an email, just knowing it's there can be enough to make you stressed and prevent you from being able to properly relax and enjoy your work. 
The evenings and the weekends are the time you're going to work on other aspects of your life. This is when you'll build your strength in the gym. It's when you'll develop yourself as a person by traveling, meeting people and reading. It's when you'll recharge your soul. And it's when you'll develop relationships and friends. If you're struggling to find a relationship as an internet marketer, then consider whether you're giving yourself the opportunities that you need to meet other people. It can be stressful knowing that you're probably getting urgent messages you can't see. The answer to this is just to be upfront and honest with your clients. Tell them you'll only answer during set hours. Let them know in advance when you plan to go away, and if you're still concerned, set up an autoresponder to ensure they get the memo. One of the great things about being self-employed is the aforementioned option to earn more money as and when you need it, to be able to afford whatever you need just by working a little longer. This might seem a big thing to sacrifice if you're forcing yourself to work set hours, but you can have your cake and eat it yet again. In this case, the option once more comes from the restrictions that you've placed on yourself and the fact that you have a set budget. You now know how much you need per month. You now know how much you need to earn per month. Thus, if you find yourself lusting after a new toy or wanting to go on a holiday, you have two options. One, save money in your daily budget until you have enough spare to funnel into that thing. Or two, work overtime just to afford that one thing. And once you've earned that amount, stop. This way, you can have anything you want. Just another amazing advantage to being an internet marketer. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.